Hello everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now I know that today we live in a world with GPS and we can look at the map on the internet and there's TV and computers everywhere and so we think that we know a lot about the world, right? We like to think that as people that we know a lot about the world. That's why it's very exciting when we learn that we actually don't know a lot about the world. There's so many things that scientists don't know and we don't know that it's always amazing to find new things to explore, new things to learn about. So today's topic is about ancient tunnels that were newly discovered in Mexico. No one has found these before for maybe hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Scientists in Mexico City recently discovered an underground passage or tunnel leading to two sealed chambers. Chambers are sort of two rooms inside the ground or inside a mountain or something. And sealed means it was closed, okay? Researchers have long been searching for the tomb of an Aztec leader. A tomb is when your person dies and you bury them in the ground, that is called the tomb. A leader thought to be located among the Temple Mayor ruins. Now they are hoping they are close to uncovering it. So they're looking for this leader's dead body, his tomb. The Aztecs, which are indigenous groups of Mexico, cremated their leaders. Cremated means when a person dies, you burn their body and their bones turn to dust. Uh, from about 1325 to 1521, cremation is a process of reducing the remains of the dead. So the remains is what's left over of the body after you die into ashes rather than burying them. However, cremated Aztec remains have never been found by modern day scientists. The recently discovered tunnel may be the pathway to these ruler's ashes. They're looking for his ashes. After you make a fire, you're left with these ashes, these brown and silver, all great things. It is 8.4 meters and leads to a circular area, a circular space. The tunnel's entrance, or how we go in there, had been closed with a three-ton rock. So this entrance or this chamber, it was sealed, it was closed. How was it closed? There was a big rock covering it. After removing the boulder, researchers discovered gold decorative pieces. Decorative meaning to make something look nice, make it look fancy. It has really no other purpose but just look nice and other offerings that were likely left for the deceased. Offerings is when we sort of uh, try to give a food or give something, a gift to somebody. So I know that um, sometimes in Korea when your grandfather dies, well the next year you have a ceremony and then you offer you know, different kinds of food for your dead grandfather. The teams of workers will continue digging around the passageway throughout the year, all 365 days, in an effort to discover what is behind the two small sealed chambers. They want to go into that chamber. They want to go into that closed room. Newly found artifacts or sort of artifacts or items from long, long time ago would be an important historical discovery for the country of Mexico. Okay, we have three key review questions here. A. What did the scientists in Mexico City recently find? The scientists in Mexico City recently discovered an underground passageway blank to two sealed chambers. So this underground passageway is sort of showing us where to go. It's telling us to follow it. And another way to say, to show the way, is leading. Sort of like what a leader does. So a teacher, they are teaching. Well, a leader, they are leading. Like, hey, follow me this way, right? So when we follow this underground passageway, this underground tunnel, if we follow it, then we can come find these two chambers, these two rooms. B. What is cremation? Cremation is the process of 
blank the remains of the dead into ashes rather than burying them. So rather than burying them, we are not putting their body in the ground. We're not doing that. Rather than, we're going to take their remains of the dead, the dead body really, and we're going to sort of make it smaller. We're going to burn it into ash. And to make it, uh, this is a, let's say a dead body here. When we burn it, it's going to get smaller and smaller. It's going to turn into ash and powder. And we're going to say that is reducing. So when we are reducing something, we're making it smaller, we're making it shorter, lighter, just we're reducing or making the small, the size smaller. C. What would the newly discovered artifacts mean for Mexico? Again, artifacts are old, really old items from long time ago. We can find artifacts in museums. The newly found artifacts would be an important blank discovery for the country. So these artifacts, they do really one thing very well. And that one thing they do is they tell us about the past. And when we are studying the past, we say we are studying history, right? So this is not an important um, food discovery. It's not an important um, animal or space discovery. It's a important historical discovery. It's telling us more about history and it's going to you know, improve our knowledge about the past. Okay, next one. We have three key terms here. A, the Aztecs, which are a blank group of Mexico, cremated their leaders from about 1325 to 1521. So in Mexico, before uh, Spain went to Mexico and colonized Mexico, before Spain went to that land, the original native people of that place were the Aztecs. So another way that we can say the original or native species of animals or people or even plants, we say that is indigenous. So the indigenous people of Mexico were the Aztecs, the original. The indigenous people of America were the Native Americans. B. The recently discovered tunnel may be the blank to these rulers' ashes. So these tunnels, they are the path or they are the way or a different way we can say that is pathway. All right, they are the road or they are the trail or just the way that we have to go. They are the pathway. If we want to go to school, then maybe the pathway is through the hallways and, you know, the streets. It's how we get there. See, after removing the boulder, the big rock, they took it away, researchers discovered gold decorative pieces and other blank that were le likely left for the deceased. So again, they found decorations in gold to look pretty and other things that were left for the deceased. So deceased really it means dead. This person is dead, right? They're cold and they're just not even there. They're not living anymore. So why do they need a cup? Why do they need a necklace? Well, long time ago, they believed that they needed that for when they die and they go to heaven or they go to a different spirit world. And we say when we are giving something to a gift to a god or giving some, a gift to a ghost or a dead person, we say that it is offerings. In this case, it's for dead people or for kings and things like that. Uh, in your case, again, I gave you the example, uh, after your grandfather or grandmother dies, every year after that, when after they die, you have a special death memorial when you remember them. And your mother or your aunt or grandmother probably prepares many foods. Uh, and those are offerings, offerings of fruit, offerings of water and rice and fish and things like that. So again, to review, indigenous are the original native people or plants or animals of a land. Pathway is the way to go somewhere. And offerings 
are gifts that we, in this case, gifts for dead people. We can also give it for living people. We can give offerings to your grandmother, even if she's not dead, even if she's living, we can offer her, you know, an apple. Uh, grandmother, would you love it? like an apple? It's when you give a gift, all right? Uh, so I don't know if you'll ever get a chance to go to Mexico, but I'm sure that when I go there, I will certainly looking, be looking for these tunnels. All right, so thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. My name's Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.